You know, the Jehovah's Witnesses say the end is near and have started holding public lectures on how to survive the end of the world. Now, they say that disasters, disease, crimes, and war spell the end of days. Now, Sherry, I turn to you because... As a Jehovah's Witness. Because you are a former Jehovah's former Witness. Jehovah's Witness. No. And tell, explain some of this to us because it sounds a little out there. Well, this is something that, the, this is not anything new that Jehovah's Witnesses have been talking about. There were always assemblies, which is what we were, they were called, and we would go to the assemblies and they would talk about the last days, which in the Bible, in like Matthew, it talks about the sign of the times. There'll be wars, uh, you know, the kids won't care about their parents, people will be lovers of themselves, and these are things that foretell uh, uh, the end of the uh, the end of the time as we know Are it. You tell me, tweet is in the Jehovah's Witness Bible. Tweeting is yes. in the Jehovah's is that, Witness. Is that is that is that the sign? One of the signs that the end is near. No, you know what one of the signs is that the end is near. That Cheney endorsed gay marriage. <laughs> your question. One of the things, because when I knew we were discussing this, yes. I, I read, because the point is, what's the point of telling you that the time is near without telling you what you can do about it? Right. So, so what it said was, there are certain things that you can do, because when the time is near, mm -hmm. Satan tries to get you. Get, get you. Yeah. So, well, I'm clear. Uh, yeah, so, I don't think they go after well, pregnant women. Belly. But, but seriously. Do you ever see Rosemary's Baby? <laughs> Jehovah's, but okay, I get yeah. that. But, the, but what I'm trying to find out, just in case it's true, uh -huh. one never knows, is what are the things you're supposed to do so that Satan doesn't get you? Well, it talks about, and it also talks about in Christianity, about being diligent, about, you know, really focusing on God. And, you know, also, too, I remember back when I was young, being a Jehovah's Witness, they foretold that 1975 was the date that the, the Armageddon is what it's called, that Armageddon was going to come. And a lot of people sold their property and houses because they thought the end of the what world was coming. What they do on coming. that day? Uh, I waited, they waited, came yeah. and went. When first turn. Came and went. But now it's supposed to come any yeah, minute. Yeah, now it's like that it's close, you know. But are they and hearing so, voices or something? I mean, well, just know, if you look in the Bible, if you just look in the Bible and oh, open it up to Matthew, it talks about all the things that are happening yeah. that yeah. kind of there foretell. There are indications. The Indic religion also, the American Indians also have very specific times and calendars when certain things yeah. happen. But the most interesting thing is, don't you think, there's always wars happening somewhere. Yeah. People yeah. are always overindulging exactly. or underindulging and not caring about their neighbor. So maybe it's just a run-on of the end of times to remind people that it is, mm -hmm. in fact... The, the the thing that will bring it on if we're not careful. I think people feel like it's so much worse. Like this is getting catastrophic. See, I don't in, agree that size. it's worse now. I no, mean, when 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 the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and right. Nagasaki, yeah. those people thought it was the end of the world. So yeah. it's very relative. This term, yeah. when is the end mm -hmm. of the world? Maybe you know? it is though, as Whoopi says, like more of a symbolic uh, yeah. intention, where it's more of like our lives will definitely. Well, as How are you going to giving, live up until that point? As long as they're not giving exact. Dates. Yes. No, that's good. We have a bad time with your head, sir. I gotta get my nails done. See, you are going to hell right now. You are going. You got any room down there? joke supersedes religion. God <laughs> has a good sense of humor, I'm yes. hoping. And here is a great yeah, example of God's sense of humor. A man who underwent hormone treatments for cancer <laughs> wrote in the New York Times that he became, let us say, menopausal as a result. And after suffering hot flashes, <laughs> mood swings, <laughs> and food cravings, so not only was he menopausal, but he apparently was pregnant, too. <laughs> It has a, he has a whole new appreciation, he says, for women. I think it's fantastic. The guy got in touch with his inner bitch, and we love it. They poo-poo the menopause. Yeah. They yeah. make fun of yeah. you when you're hot in the hot flashes oh, yeah. until they, they actually exactly. go through it. Then, yeah. you know, the same guy was saying, you know, why don't more people talk about it? Why aren't there books written about yeah. it? He hasn't read them. He hasn't read them. <laughs> but the only thing that's <laughs> bad about the only thing that's bad about it is if you make the women sound too incapacitated. They have mood swings. You can't do this because of your hormones. Right. Then it gets a little... Then it's one of these, I'm not going to hire a woman because I don't want a woman president because yeah. I don't want to... So right. it's okay to have hot flashes.
actions, but not to say I was so, I just couldn't do anything. For some people, it is debilitating. Well, when I was yes, young, but... in the olden days, <laughs> people didn't believe, and if they're young children, you'll explain it to them on the television. People didn't believe that periods could hurt. No. That you could have period cramps. Only a comma. And I people would say, uh, oh, buck up. Buck, you know, buck yeah, up, Andre, or, or there's nothing wrong with you. And you would be literally crawling to school because the cramps were so bad. Mm. So, you know, there are those people. But one of the things that I found has happened is women don't talk about those things anymore because the comics... Yeah, we make fun. Have made so many jokes about it that has become something that is almost taboo to bring up. But it's I also fun. don't want it to become the excuse for not hiring women, not sure. promoting women, not you having women in favor. Hey, has an excuse all the time. Oh, I have my beard. I can't come in to work. I cannot, you can't do that anymore. No. But I'm getting great. I remember my friends getting out of gym class because of that. I never understood. I was, I was a woman who didn't understand that because I, I didn't, you know, I didn't have that. But I didn't understand the getting out of like gym class. Or I would get out. Of, I would use any excuse to get out of gym. Any excuse to get out of gym class. So would I. Yep. My you breath saw, hurts. You were I I was most improved athlete at camp. That was not a compliment. You could have been better if you showed up. Any class name Jim I could find. <laughs> now, because I like the name, we're going to go to what? Right, no, we're going and coming right back with more hot topics. That's how hot it got. Hot